What is the difference between temperature and tint? Now this is a question I get all of the time by beginner photographers. So today I thought I'd make a quick video discussing the difference between temperature and tint and how it impacts your white balance in your photography. And I'm gonna start right now. So the temperature and tint slider fundamentally do the same thing, control the white balance of your image. Now the temperature slider controls the amount of blue or the amount of yellow found within your photo, where the tint slider controls the amount of magenta or the amount of green within your photo. So let's quickly bring up this color wheel. Now if you go ahead and place the temperature slider on this color wheel, you can see it goes from blue to yellow. Then if we go ahead and place the tint slider, it goes from green to magenta. But as you can see, they are at a perfect 90 degree angle, which means basically you can control your entire white balance by sliding either the magenta or sliding the blue over to the left, to the right, up or down, controlling where the white balance falls within your image. And that's fundamentally what these two sliders do. So let's jump onto Lightroom Classic to see what it can do in practice. So to access the temperature and tint slider, all you need to do, jump onto Lightroom Classic, then what you want to do is go over to the develop panel, then drop down to where you can see it says basics. And the first thing you'll come to is your white balance options, where as you can see, you've got your temperature and tint available. Now, like I was saying, temperature controls the warmth or coolness of that photo, so the blues and yellows, where the tint controls the amount of magenta or the amount of green found within that photo. So if we go to the temperature here, let's say we wanna warm this photo, for example, as you can see, it's already on plus 23, but if we go even further, we're adding more yellow to the overall, so we're casting yellow over all of the colors globally. Then if we go ahead and drop that down, we're adding in blue to the photo, and again, we're casting over all colors globally. Then we've got our tint here, let's just drop that deck down to uh, zero. We've got our tint here, which again controls the amount of green, and also controls the amount of magenta. Now, that controls the fundamentals of your white balance, but what happens if you don't know what is correct? Like, it's a very difficult thing to judge. It takes ages to learn what colors, you know, what white should look like in your photo. But luckily, there is a quick tool to help you out, the eyedropper tool. So, what you need to do firstly is find something that's got a neutral tone to it. So something that hasn't got a cast to it preferably something that's either white or gray. Now, luckily, in this photo, if we go ahead and zoom in, the girl has got these lovely white eyes. So what we can do is actually focus on those and take a sample from the pupil, the white parts of her eyes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the temperature and tint alone. We're gonna select this icon here, drag that over, and we want to select an area that is pure white. So we're gonna go ahead and sample that. And as you can see, these have now snapped to what Photoshop believes is correct. So if I do, if I show you the before and I show you the after, you can see there's a very subtle change in the white balance. Now in this particular case, I don't particularly like it. I wanna warm it up slightly to create an overall warmer cast to it. Totally personal opinion. But what I'm gonna do is take this uh, temperature here and slide it over to the right. And as you can see, we're going for a more of a warmer tone. So we're messing around with the white balance to get the right look for the photo. It doesn't have to be correct. It can be just what you specifically like, what you prefer. So, so that is the difference between temperature and tint and basically how you can fundamentally control and change your white balance.